All right, so we're here with Team Nigeria's 4x1 team. They just qualified for the final of the men's 4x1 tomorrow. Now let's start with uh, Godson Brumer. He finished, um, he anchored the team uh, to um, finish third. Uh, Godson, uh, I mean, it seemed like you just took it easy or is there something that you were hiding and you're saving for the final? Yeah, we're just saving for the finals though. Um, I really wanted us to win the heat of going to the finals, you know, to boost our confidence. But as he has it, you know, we are not really in that shape and that physical fitness we used to be, you know. I like mean, I'm struggling with my hamstring, so I had to go easy and we just needed to qualify for the finals. That's it. A bit about the hamstring, how serious is it or is it something you could still patch up for the finals tomorrow? No, I'm not running for the finals. I'm not running for the finals. I just needed to run for the heat for us to qualify because uh, um, our, our teammate, Dodi, he's run the 200. He can't run the heat, so he needs to focus on the final. So I just needed to help the team to qualify for the final. Um, let's talk to uh, Nicolas Mabilo now. Uh, you ran the second leg, um, your first time running in the competition itself. Um, how, how, how does it feel for you? Yeah, I, I feel so grateful to God. I, for one, I, I, I knew I worked hard coming here on Sami. We have millions of Nigerians back home, but me qualifying for this team, like what God said, just boosting my morale. I believe one day we Nigerians are going to go to the world at Let's Track and Field, generally. Yeah. What, what do you think you, the team needs to work on? Um, I saw the exchange between yourself and uh, Fakori Day. It wasn't that smooth and script, yeah, crisp. Do you think you need to work on that before the final? Work on that. Uh, yeah, we need to work on that. You know, Fakori Day had 200 meters yesterday, so we could really perfect yeah, the exchange with Fakori Day. I myself with Kingsley will be doing that since because we came in just for the release. So, yeah, we and Fakori, we need to put more work. Right, let's talk to you uh, briefly. Uh, you ran the uh, opening leg. Uh, I mean, how does it feel for you uh, running the release and representing Nigeria? I feel happy representing Nigeria for the very first time in my life. It hasn't been easy training without enough sponsor and competitions, but I'm telling God, I'm happy to be here. Uh, I mean, yeah, it, it's great. We're through to the final, but I mean, uh, talking about the old sponsors and what you've gone through uh, practicing and getting to this place for the championships, how has it been so far? It hasn't been easy at all. Uh, can you be more specific about it? Some of the things that you faced? Okay, training hasn't been easy. Sponsoring yourself to different competitions to qualify for different meet, but we thank God we've been running with ourselves and um, sponsoring ourselves for the uh, for the competition. Fakori, right, let me talk to you before I end with uh, Brume uh, Gotten once again. Uh, you ran the 200 yesterday. Yeah. New personal best for you. You ran the 200 yesterday. New personal best for you. Uh, I mean, coming out here this morning again to do it for your teammates. Uh, what inspired you to do that? Oh, that's been in Nigeria as well. That's been in Nigeria. I'm feel proud to run for them again because they, we need to qualify for the relays. And it seems we need to work on our exchange very well. And if we get it perfectly, then we are running the world again. Okay. 